Do you need a simple and easy timesheet that you can use to track your time on a weekly basis? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. That includes a summary tab where things will automatically roll up and all you have to do to keep it updated is take your tab name, bring it into the summary sheet for each week, and then those totals will show up automatically. Just like that. So we're just going to start with our columns here. So date, and then we're going to do time in, time out. And we're going to include the ability to do before and after lunch, and then your hours. And then I'm going to go ahead and select and delete the rest of these columns. And then the same thing with the rest of these rows. And then let's go ahead and select these. We're going to make these into a date drop down. Just like that. So again, that was right click drop down and then changing that to is valid date. And now we can go ahead and select. Let's say we're going to start with this Monday and then we can simply do plus one to get the rest of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the format of these to something a little more friendly, a custom date there. And then what I'm going to do is let's do something like the day of the week, the month name, and then the day. Something just like that. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this to yellow because if you change this, the rest of those will automatically update. And then let's go ahead and format this header real quick. Something like that. And then let's go ahead and set the formatting a little bit on these. And then I'm going to turn this into our totals here with a sum and then let's go ahead and fill out the rest of the math here. So let's get these centered real quick. Maybe make these like a green and white and then I'll get rid of this last row there as well. So at this point we can enter time in just like this. So you can do 8 a.m. 12 p.m. 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. And then let me go ahead and center these. And so here, all we need to do is subtract the in from the out. And so we can do, for example, this minus this, but we need to do that times 24 because of the, the way the numbers work. So let me go ahead and turn this into a number format and then center these. And so four hours that if you're familiar with the time, that is the time thread we have there. So I'm going to do here is actually add this one as well. Minus D2 and then wrap this whole thing with parentheses and then do the whole thing times 24. And there's our eight hours. Drag that down just like that. And then if I add some more here, you can see that updates just like that. I'm going to turn this just to maybe a light gray same thing over here, just so you're aware that those don't need to be edited. And I'm going to manually do the rest of the grid lines here. So let me go ahead and do this, grab the whole thing. I'm going to do white inside, just like that. And then in here, we're going to select this and do maybe some kind of gray and do all borders. So something super simple, just like that. All right, so that is our weekly template. I'm going to go ahead and name this according to the date there. So you can do 1118 to 1124. You could also do week one or week two or something like that as well. I'm just going to do it like this. And then I'm going to show you how to roll this up into a summary. So on the summary, I'm going to get rid of these timestamps here and then go ahead and get rid of this for the moment. And then I'm just going to insert some new rows here. Uh, maybe just a couple more like that. Make sure this is still doing that thing appropriately. And so now I'm going to change this to week. Go to format. I'm sorry, date, data validation. And we're going to delete this one. 
and then I'm going to change these all to yellow. What we're going to do here is something we're basically going to take that name that we just did here and put that here. So if you're doing week one, then you put week one here and so forth. And then what we're going to do here is get that hours. So that total hours is right here in F9. And so we can use that using a formula called indirect. And so that's why we want this to match so we can use this. And then we just have to make the rest of this cell reference because indirect allows us to basically take some text and merge it together and make an actual reference. And so I believe that was F9, something like that. Yep, there we go, F9. And then we can actually drag this down and do that. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to do if A2 is blank, we're not going to show anything. And so now if I drag this down, you can see there's nothing show up, even though there's a formula. But if we duplicate this and then let's go ahead and see what those dates are there. So 25, now I can rename this so 11, 25. And when you do this, just make sure you don't have any extra spaces. Because sometimes if you do extra space after, they can kind of throw you off. And then we can basically take again that. So you can either type it out again or copy and paste just like that. And there we go. So just make sure this is actually doing it correctly. I'm going to fill out a little bit so it's different. So there's our 12 and there's our 16. So that is it for today's video. I hope that helps you to see how quickly and easily you can put together a simple weekly timesheet and tie it together into a summary.